presenting CFAC's Dauntless Purveyor of Climate Truth Award winners throughout the years. 2014, Lord Christopher Monckton. 2017, Colonel Walter Cunningham. 2018, Dr. Fred Singer. 2019, Dr. J. Lair. 2021, Mark Moran. And now, presenting CFAC's Dauntless Purveyor of Climate Truth Award winner for 2023, Joanne Nova. Hailing from Australia, Jo Nova has made waves globally fighting for climate truth as an author, blogger, journalist, scientist, TV personality, speaker, and activist. Her award-winning blog, joannenova.com.au, is read by almost one and a half million people every year and regularly features groundbreaking research, breaking news, and policy analysis on the climate change issue. But Jo Nova's career wasn't always dedicated to exposing climate extremism. With an education in microbiology and science communication, in her early years, Jo was part of a traveling science circus bringing hands-on science experiments to kids, including those in remote Aboriginal communities. She also hosted the children's TV series, Why, with Channel 9, to make science interesting and entertaining to young people. Okay, try that again. It was during these early years that Joe Nova's thoughts on climate change developed, and she found herself as a staunch member of the political left. For 17 years, I was convinced that we needed to worry about carbon dioxide. I talked on ABC radio, I expressed my concern that we were going to get unstuck, that the climate was going to change in ways we were going to find very difficult to deal with. Absolutely, I talked about that. I convinced yeah. people as well. I helped raise funds for the Greens. I was very concerned. Yeah. But then David came to me one day in early 2007, mm. and of course he'd been working with the Greenhouse Office. Sorry, who's David? He'd been David, my husband, David Evans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dr. David Evans came up to me and he said, he said, you know, there's no evidence for man-made global warming. And he said that to me and I said, you must be kidding. Of course there's evidence. Of course, what about the ice cores? That was the first thing I could think of. Mm. And uh, he said, well, we know the ice cores and have known since 2003 that there's an 800 year lag mm. between carbon dioxide and temperature. Mm. And I was floored because I read New Scientist every week. I thought I knew at least the big basics of this debate. Mm. And that really stumped me. So I set about looking for evidence to support my belief that CO2 did matter. Mm. And pretty quickly I could see that most of this debate was not about actual evidence, but just about opinions. And when I looked for it, I couldn't find the evidence. Joe Nova's newfound thinking on the climate change issue came to a head in 2007 at the 13th United Nations Conference of the Party's climate change meeting in Bali, Indonesia. There, Nova partnered with CFACT to work with other climate realist activists like Brian Leland, Vincent Gray, Craig Rucker, Lord Christopher Monckton, and her husband, David Evans. Her most noteworthy event involved having a number of scientists and IPCC expert reviewers don lab coats and hold a banner to oppose any new climate treaty. They planted themselves right in front of the main UN Conference Center where Al Gore was scheduled to arrive after receiving his Nobel Prize in Oslo. It garnered tons of media, but UN security forced the activists to leave before Gore's limo arrived. Nevertheless, that stunt set the stage for Joe Nova's tenacious reporting and research going forward. From there, she published The Skeptic's Handbook, which has been translated into 15 languages, and some 220,000 copies have been published and distributed to members of Australian Parliament and the US Congress. Next, Joe Nova published her famous blog, where her research and analysis regularly expose and hammer the Greens, like her findings that supporters of alarmism get paid 3,500 times more than skeptics, which CFACT featured in its film, Climate Hustle 2. Joe Nova has proven herself to be an unstoppable force for the facts in the climate change debate. And she is CFAC's 2023 dauntless purveyor of climate truth. <laughs>